all of our spoons end up being quite individual. Sometimes we make a set of a few, but mostly they're one-offs. Because we're still at the stage of experimenting with each one and getting excited about each new style or shape or type. Spoon making is definitely very addictive. Definitely addictive. Well, at first I wasn't really attracted to it, and I'm not, I'm not sure why. I just didn't really get into it, but once I did, it was the, the satisfaction of seeing what you made right after you make it, and making something that you think is beautiful, and that you can also use it. Useful and beautiful, it's a good combination. I think what makes you want to carve another is something to do with that. It's that pleasing surprise for me. Like you somehow, with your hands and the few tools, this thing has suddenly emerged. And even still, I'm not quite sure how it's managed to happen. So I just keep on, keep on doing it. We always try to carve the wood green because it's easier to carve because of all the water that's still in it. We've been using lots of fruit wood, mostly cherry and apple, but also alder and beech. You put your arms around me. After we've made some spoons, we soak them in linseed oil. After about a week, we take them out of the oil, rub all the oil off and write labels, put labels on them and get them ready for market. Every Saturday and sometimes Wednesdays, we do the Bridport Market. And then the idea is to display the spoons in their natural environment. So imagine you saw a spoon in the wild. That's, that's how we want to display them. Next to onions, in the kitchen, with the food. I bet that's gotta hurt. Some people walk by and tell us, Say, I hope you're going to clear up that mess. <laughs> Lots of people are quite surprised or impressed to see you carving something. You would think that you would saturate the market pretty quickly, handmade wooden spoons, but people like it and it's great. We, we're kind of in the process of thinking about what our goal is with spoon carving, or a bigger mission. Because it's very satisfying. We love to make spoons, love to sell them, and, and teach people how to make spoons. We haven't done that very much, but... So it's very satisfying handcraft. I'd like our spoon carving to involve more people or to be more beneficial for other people in more ways than just people buying them. Because I do think it does have a lot of potential therapeutically, spoon making does. Ha <laughs> ha